Hi guys, this is Greg Doyle for Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. Um, it is prediction time, um, back after a break for a few weeks. Good to be back speaking to you guys and um, I couldn't come back with any bigger fight to be honest. The I want to talk to you guys about today is the upcoming undisputed lightweight title clash. That is between Vasil Lomachenko, who is 14-1, and he takes on Teofimo Lopez, who is 15-0. Biggest fight of the year, guys. If not, it's it's certainly top two, three. It's an extraordinary fight, and I've really enjoyed looking into it um, a lot this week because there's a lot of things that I've educated myself about about both guys and their amateur careers and things. And when I go back and look at some of the action, I thought that I knew which way the fight was going for sure, and some things make me doubt a little bit. But we'll get onto that. As you know in these videos, I will give you um, a quick background into both fighters. I'll let you know where I see the fight being won, uh, my, my keys to victory, and finally I will give you my prediction. Okay, so let's get straight into it guys. Start off with Vasil Lomachenko. Vasil Lomachenko is the unified lightweight champion of the world. He is 14-1. and one. His amateur record was 396 wins and one loss. Extraordinary. Uh, and by the way, that one loss, he came back and avenged it twice um, to a very, very capable Russian. Fascinating. Um, Lomachenko has risen through the weights very, very quickly in boxing, but when you've got an amateur record where you've fought nearly 400 times, I think you would expect um, someone to be just a little bit special, wouldn't you? So, um, yeah, fantastic fighter. If you look at Lomachenko, especially in the Campbell fight, I thought that that would be his toughest fight. And to a degree, it was a really tough fight for him. Campbell is tall, rangy. Um, if he employed his jab as efficiently as he could, it could have been very difficult for Lomachenko to get inside. But can we really blame Campbell for that? Is Lomachenko not just a little bit special? He, he probably is, isn't he? So if you look at Lomachenko and all of his skills, I actually preferred that his nickname was The Matrix because that's the best way to sum him up. He's... He moves his body at crazy angles. If you guys go back and you look at the fight v Pedraza, if you look at the fight um, versus Linares, etc., some of the angles and the way that he gets himself into position to throw shots is scary. Probably the biggest, um, the biggest example of that is the fight against Nicholas Walters, where I thought he was flawless, absolutely flawless, best career performance to me, uh, for me to date. So that is um, Vasil Lomachenko. If we look at Teofimo Lopez, Teofimo Lopez got a very, very good amateur record as well. I didn't realise he's 150 wins and 20 losses. That's crazy. That is an amazing amateur record. Um, when I go back and I look at Teofimo Lopez, he actually impresses me more every time I watch him. He seems to throw this looping right hand, it's like a right hand, right hook over the top and he catches so many people with it coming in and it looks slow sometimes but it catches everybody so it, <laughs> there's obviously something there to make it such a great shot but um, he's a very very good fighter to Fimo Lopez I liked um, his fight against Nakatani, went back and watched that today very very good performance um, Jesse Magdaleno just took him a, uh, Diego Magdaleno, sorry, he just took him apart. Um, he's just a very, very good fighter. And it's just unfortunate, well, it's not unfortunate for us boxing fans, but for these two guys coming up against each other, they're both pretty special. So the fact that someone's going to lose this fight on Saturday, it almost seems like a disadvantage to, to boxing because they're so good, both of them. But a loss doesn't define you, as we, as we well know in boxing. Um, guys, if I can give you a keys to victory, um, this is probably the easiest bit of the video for me today, I think, because I know what both guys' strengths are, what they potentially need to do. I'm not going to say I know how to beat Lomachenko, but um, I've got an idea that I'd like to think I would know what, what may work um, that, that's been employed or could have been employed better in the past. Um, if I look at the strengths for, we'll start off with Vasil Lomachenko. For me, Lomachenko to win this fight, he needs to continually change the angles, um, change the angles inside, don't let Lopez set his feet and I think he needs to be busy, Lomachenko, in terms of 
make Lopez miss, but make him pay. Don't just make him miss and stand back and admire your work. So for me, that's it. Uh, Vasil Lomachenko's keys to victory is change the angles and throw lots of shots. For Tefimo Lopez, say, <laughs> for me, this is the easiest bit in the middle, but it is hard trying to, trying to decipher a game plan to beat Lomachenko. I think from watching Lomachenko, I think when you're standing close to him, you need to not try and throw perfect shots. You just need to throw, and it's not always up the way. You can't just be going up and round with hooks because Lomachenko just moves. I think you just need to be throwing from awkward angles and just come right up the middle, aim for the body. If you hit the body, great. If you miss it and hit the head, even better. So for me, Teofimo Lopez, he needs to throw lots of shots inside whilst uh, Lomachenko is trying to change the angles and he needs to be patient. Patience in this fight will work a treat. Um, but guys, finally over and on to prediction time. It's a really, really good fight and I say, as I say, the more I've watched the both guys this week, it's made it come slightly closer together for me. But for me, I just think, I, don't, I just don't see any way past Vasil Lomachenko. I just think that He's going to be hitting Lopez with shots he's never been hit with before and the shots that have been working for Lopez in the past, I don't think that they're going to work on Lomachenko. I think there's a bit of spite in the fight and I worry a little bit for Lopez that he's got under Lomachenko's skin. Um, but that could also work in his favour as well as you need to keep your emotions very limited in boxing. But guys, my prediction, it is it Vasil Lomachenko to beat Teofimo Lopez by second half of the fight stoppage or a wide points decision. Guys, good to be back speaking to you. Apologies for my absence, but I wanted to come back with a great fight to speak to you guys about. Greg Doyle, Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. Subscribe, give us a like, and check out all of our social platforms. Thank you, take care.